Jim here, welcome back to the channel. Today's topic, why I moved to backplate and wing. If you wanna know what the advantages, disadvantages are about backplate and wing over traditional BC, stay tuned. As many of you might know by now, I am a backplate and wing diver, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about why. My first one was a black diamond BC, as maybe many of you, I didn't know a lot about BCs when I was first coming up the line. And so I looked at the black diamond, looked tactical, I liked the look, had a lot of D-rings, I liked the look. It looked like really protective, like it was gonna, you know, hold me in everywhere because that's what I was imagining I, I needed. And so I had the black diamond. And I can't remember how long I had the black diamond. It wasn't long. And what happened was my taste was moving more towards something, wow, maybe I had it a year, I think. I sold it on eBay. And what I was feeling was, gosh, I feel really encumbered and bulky. So I want to move in a direction of, of less. So my next BC was the Aqualung Balance. And here's a look at the balance. And so the balance is much more open on the chest. It's much, it's, it's more minimalist. At the same time, I was doing a lot of backpacking um, in, in those days. And I, I, you know, I, I was in the Himalayas. I spent a lot of time with, with a backpack on. And then I was starting to relate some experiences between backpacking and having a BC and how, you know, the backpacks that I had moved toward, you know, they were very, you know, on me and I, I could run, I could jog and that thing was just tight on there. And the balance, even the balance, it was moving toward where I wanted. It was kind of open, uh, but it, it didn't have that, that security. Also, at the same time, probably I was discovering uh, DIR diving and, and the Hagarthian idea. Um, and, and so all those things kind of came together and I said, you know what? Backplate and wing makes a lot of sense to me. You know, the whole idea, the thing is really fitting to me. I've got a stable platform that I can customize off. You know, I can have uh, different wings. And, and as it happened, I used for technical as well. And I was moving in, in the technical direction, I thought. So it made even more sense. But recreationally as well, I made the jump to backplate and wing. I sold my, oh, I didn't sell my balance. I kept that as, as a rental. The other thing with the balance that was a problem, the bladder is 55 pounds of lift. That's a lot of lift. And I, I didn't know how much that was at, at the time, but you know, nowadays, you know, nowadays I think I dive with a, a 27 or a 30 pound lift wing for cold, cold weather. Uh, and I also have an 18 pound wing, but that was 55 pounds of lift. That was a lot of potential air to go in there that I had no need. Okay, so the back plate and the wing, it's just another back inflate BC. So the advantages of a back inflate BC, which the balance was, uh, advantages in the water, since the bladder is on top of you, it's going to give a very natural tendency to be horizontal in the water, to give you a good trim position. It's, it's a good head start to nice trim. A jacket underwater is all around you, so it often doesn't have any preferred uh, stability direction. So you could be on your side and then the air would run up to the side here and it would keep you there, or you could be at an angle to angle. So I, I've heard that some photographers like that because it gives them flexibility. Um, for me, it wasn't a net advantage. Now, at the surface, the advantage is kind of reversed a little bit. A jacket at the surface is kind of like sitting in, in your armchair at the surface. So it's got it's got air all around and it, it's kind of kind of up, you know, just up on you and, and you're you know you're not being pushed usually any particular way. It's kind of like a life jacket. Very pleasant. A back inflate is a little bit of a learning curve. So first, you need to have a crotch strap. And the reason for uh, needing a crotch strap, here he is at the surface, Scuba Steve is at the surface, and if, a, if Stuba, Scuba Steve has a back inflate BC, any kind of back inflate, back plate and wing, any, the balance, anything, the tendency, the back inflate, it wants to float up, up in a way, it wants to float up. And if you do not have a crotch strap on, it will float up and push your head down. The tendency will be, you'll feel, right? So having a crotch strap keeps 
the bladder against your body so that any push will be minimized and it will be bringing your whole body up instead of trying to push you forward. However, there is a little bit of a push forward anyway, just a little bit because there is some of a float versus sink uh, here. And so you generally do not want to fill your bladder 100%, maybe. I don't know, you'll have to find the, the balance, but uh, maybe it's 75, maybe it's 80, something like that. Because if it's 100%, it might, it might push you a bit. The other thing you want to do is you want to lean back slightly onto the bladder. So uh, maybe a 75%, 80% fill, lean back. You know, now I'm very comfortable. Right? That is going to take just a little bit of practice and then you'll become very comfortable with it. Uh, however, it, it's probably never going to be like a jacket, jacket style BC. One of the other uh, demerits of a jacket style BC, uh, besides the lack of general fit to your body and stability, especially with the tank, tank can be rolling and stuff like that, um, is sometimes at the surface as well, when, when someone really inflates it, because the air bladder is coming all the way around your body, some people could have their lungs squeezed when the bladder is uh, full or nearly fully inflated, and that would generally only happen at the top, right? There isn't much need for you to be fully inflated inside the water down below. But at the, at the surface, some people, when they fully inflate it, they, they can't breathe actually, or their, their breathing is, is reduced. One other factor I had to consider when switching to backplate and wing was what about pockets? I was losing my pockets. And I thought about adding pockets onto the webbing. However, once I really thought about it, I said, that's what I'm trying to escape. And it came down, there was really only one answer, pocket shorts. And that's the direction I went. And then last, if you have any inclination to move into a technical configuration, meaning back mount. I know these days side mount is a big thing, and that's a whole different style BC. I, I don't have any experience with that. I just know it's a different, a different BC. So if, you, if you're going side mount, please look up some side mount video. This is the wrong one. If you're, if you're thinking that you might go back mount doubles, back plate and wing, you're right there, right? So uh, the, the nice thing for me, I have a, uh, a stainless steel back plate. I'll have another video about what, what plate to choose. I have a stainless steel back plate, which is about three kilograms, six pounds roughly. And I have, for singles diving, I have a 30 pound, it's, I forget, 27 or a 30 pound wing. And my hose configuration, if I'm wearing doubles, I use a different wing. Probably for aluminum doubles, I had a 40 pound wing. And for big steel, I probably have a 55 pound wing a doubles wing, a different kind of wing. But from my front, all the hoses come exactly the same. If I were just looking forward and I didn't, I, if someone was holding the weight so I couldn't feel how, how heavy the, the tanks were on my back, if I were just looking at the hoses and the front of my BC, I would have no idea maybe of whether I was singles or doubles. And that, you want that because that's that means all the time you're you're that you're just practicing the same skills with the same hose configuration it's always the same feel so it's not like you have to learn a skill set for doubles and you have to you know you have a different skill set for singles you're always diving the same configuration and that made a lot of sense to me and i used to dive a lot of doubles i used to dive doubles on every dive at, at certain sites so i had hundreds and hundreds and maybe thousands of, of doubles dives because i used to teach in doubles, actually. I used to teach open water in doubles. I... Okay, I hope that gives you some insights into backplate and wing and why backplate and wing might be a future for you. I'm going to make other videos, so another video I've got hopefully coming out soon is why a long hose might be right for you. And then another one, if you're going backplate and wing, it's going to be about choosing aluminum versus stainless steel. That's a huge, huge debate, and I do have some feelings on that. Short, short answer, stainless steel. Okay, all right, thanks for joining in. See you on the beach.